Hey YouTube, this is Print Practical. I recently got handed down this self-propelled push mower and there's one central problem with this. Being self-propelled, the whole point of this mower is when you're going on a straightaway, you can sit there and drink your beer and you don't have to push with two hands. Now the main problem is when you go into a corner, you're gonna have to use two hands to shift the whole mower. And where am I gonna put my beer? So the whole point of today is we're going to design a beer cup holder that's going to attach to the handle of this push mower. So let's get started. I'm going to start taking some measurements and then we can go up and start designing and 3D printing our new cup holder. All right, so next, I'm gonna take some measurements of a beer bottle and a beer can, because I don't exclusively drink one of those. So I'm gonna take some measurements on these, so that way we can make sure that the cup holder can fit a can uh, naturally, and then I'm probably gonna print an adapter piece that will fit in to hold a bottle securely. So we got all our measurements. Uh, let's start designing the cup holder. So my goal is I'm gonna make a piece that attaches to the handle, um, that, that kind of wraps around the handle, and then there's going to be the cup holder where the bolt goes through the cup holder, through that piece that goes around the handle, and then you put a nut on the other side. Um, so let's, let's create an assembly because this is a multi piece part. All right, let's create a new part. Um, it's just going to be called handle and we're going to make it a metric part because I always measure things in metric. We're going to make a new folder for this too. All right. So um let's draw it out so we got to make a semicircle that goes around the handle um the handle diameter i measured as 24 millimeters um so we're gonna make 24.5 and then uh we're gonna you know i'm just kind of making up these values as we go but uh, i'm gonna make this a uh, two and a half millimeter offset. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to make this a semicircle. Um, so let's say. Um, so I'm going to make this perpendicular with these lines here and then I can change this angle here um, and you know I only need 120 degrees probably so um, I'm just going to divide that by two and then I can mirror this line over this one and that'll put that line down there. Now that's going to work. All right. And I said that I'm going to make this a 60 millimeter length. Um, so now I want to put a hole in the middle of this just so that the bolt can slide through it. Um, so let me make a tangent 
plane. So it's gonna be tangent with that, and then let me pull my origin up, and it's gonna be like that. Gonna project the geometry. Going to throw a point down. And just to make sure, um, I'm going to vertically align that with that point, horizontally align this with the midpoint here, even though it looks like it's correct, I just wanna make sure. And then I'm going to use the hole feature. There we go. Hole, that point. Um, I said that this is going to be a eight millimeter hole. Uh, eight millimeter hole and it is going to be through all, for some reason it doesn't want to do that. So I'm just gonna do two, boom, blast a hole right through. And that's pretty much all that we're gonna do for this piece. I, I do wanna give it a flat surface that the cup holder can meet. So let me make another drawing on this plane here. And I'm going to project the geometry of this circle. And there's no midpoint, of course. Um, I will use this line then instead. Um, and I'm just gonna draw a circle out to that. Oh, yeah. And then I'm gonna offset a circle by, uh, by two mil. We're gonna extrude that um, to next. And now I have a flat point in which the cup holder will mount up against this this little bracket here and I'm gonna fillet this just to make it look nice and there we go Okay, now I am going to create the cup holder. And this is gonna be called the holder. And this is gonna be a millimeter part again. It's gonna go to the cup holder and I'm gonna use this as the plane to start on. So now, I just want to make I want to make the way that it's going to mount to this thing. Um, so just going to pull this out, pull this out, and we're going to extrude this um, just like a millimeter out. And that's gonna be the surface that meets with that little bracket. Um, so really, I'm gonna extrude this out a little wider, and then I'm gonna set the head of this bolt in this, in this piece here. Um, so let me, let me look here. Uh, I extruded it out one mil. That's not gonna work. Um, and then how 
how wide is this? This is 12 wide. So yeah, I actually want to go out a little further. So let's actually, let's modify the other piece. Um, and then that should in turn modify the piece that I'm working on. Let's go into here and let's modify this sketch. Let's just bump this out to let's bump that out a little further. There we go. That gives a nice big surface to mount to. Return. Go back here. Go here. Let's delete this. Let's bring the circle out to this. Now I got to modify the profile for this extrusion. And we're going to extrude this. Um, we did one millimeter before. Uh, the bolt head is about five millimeters deep. So let's just say seven mil. And then let's draw in here where the head's going to sit. Um, so we know that the um, we know that the bolt head is 12.5 in diameter. And then I'm going to throw a point at the top of this. You know, all these all these bolts are hexagon, right? So you can just circular pattern that dot. Um, so I'm going to select that point and I'm going to select this is the axis. You get your six points. You can draw a line and I, I mean, there's probably a way better way of doing this, um, but you know, I'm not a mechanical engineer. I just kind of hack this crap together so I can trim this now. Okay. It doesn't want to let me trim that doesn't matter. Uh, and then I am going to extrude and we're going to cut. And we're going to cut this five. And now we're good there. We're going to go from here. Uh, we're going to make a box. And, you know, can. Uh, the can width is 67. We said we were going to do 70. Let's just do 75. Throw an extra five mil on there. Um, and then for height, we're going to do 60, uh, plus the bottom. So let's do, let's do 65. And then once again, we're going to center it center center. All right, let's extrude. And I went out 75, right? So I'm going to go out 75 again. Um, and then let's create my sketch up here. The can is 67. Um, so I was saying, let's just go 70 or I think I said 68, whatever. I'll, I'll do 69. Um, let's project the geometry and center this again. done we're gonna cut this in and we made it 65 deep um, so let's make it 60 cut it in 60 so now we have our cup holder and it's pretty much complete but let's make it look a little nicer um, so let's start by filling all the corners That looks pretty good. Once again, I kind of just 
you know, do whatever. I don't, I don't try and take super accurate measurements. Um, and let's kind of fill it this just so, you know, it doesn't break off. That looks good. And this allows me to mount, mount the cup holder at whatever angle, you know, the handle is. Um, and then I'm just going to rely on the pressure of the bolt to hold it in place. So that looks good. Um, I could fill at the bottom of this too. All right, so that's good. All right, one thing I noticed right before I was about to print, the, the hole doesn't go through the whole part for the cup holder, so the bolt won't, wouldn't be able to go through the hole. Um, so easy fix, uh, what I do is I find the sketch where I made that that bore for the, for the bolt head, I'm gonna share it, and then I'm gonna extrude, I can zoom in, select the bolt head, we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut through this surface, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to save this. Oh, also, before I forget, I, I need to create the adapter piece uh, for the bottle. my slicer I'm gonna bring all three of these items in uh, I am going to flip this I'm trying to get the least supports as possible here flip that that's okay where it's at and we're gonna flip this on its base and we're gonna spin this 90 degrees So there's a little bit of a gap there. There might be some some filament that bridges that gap, but we'll see. All my slicer settings look good. This is six hours. Let's do a little preview. So yeah, there's just gonna be little tiny tree supports to help that structure. Uh, no supports for that and then there are some supports for this hole and I think I think the bolt will bridge so that looks pretty good um, so done slicing that uh, let's just hop to a time lapse of it printing and then I'll get the video of the final install All right, so I have the pieces fully 3D printed. They came out awesome. Here's the little piece that goes on the handle. Here's my beer bottle adapter. So now we're gonna go install it and then we'll try it out. Yes. 